Welcome back to another Sims 4 build video. Today we're going to be working on a brand new recreation center in San Sequoia. So I'm building on this sort of downtown lot right next to where the library is, or it's across the road from the library, and it's near all these other really beautiful sort of, I guess, refurbed, probably warehouse inspired buildings. So what I wanted to do is basically build the same thing. Like I wanted this building to look exactly like all the others so it actually fits in and then you can actually go in and explore the space. So that was the idea and I did actually start working on this uh, probably like I think even before the game came out like when we had early access I started building this idea. I scrapped it and, and this is a brand new one I started recently. But yeah I, I wanted to do something like this for a while because I feel like particularly this lot as residential is very strange, I think. I mean, kind of all the residential lots in this area, I don't know that they make the most sense because it's like this downtown prime real estate waterfront. It would be like commercial stuff, you know? So that's what we're doing. We're turning it into a big rec center. I, I, had a, I wasn't exactly sure when I started building this what I wanted it to be. Like, I didn't know if I was gonna do like retail or restaurant, bar, lounge, that kind of stuff. In the end, I decided to make it a recreation center because that means we can kind of do a little bit of everything. There'll be like a gym, there's like the toddler area, and we're gonna do like a little bit of a library. There's musical instruments, there's painting. You know, there's a bunch of activities that we can come here for, like during my let's play and actually, you know, have a nice day here and do all that kind of stuff. So I, I'm really excited about that because I really just wanted places to go with the whole family. Like obviously we have the rec center that came with the pack, but I want, you know, more than one place to visit. And on top of this one, the other day I did a live stream here on the channel and we're working on another rec center that I guess is maybe a little bit more grown up. That other one I'm working on is gonna have a bowling alley, roller skating, uh, we're doing an arcade there as well, so it is different to this one. So that's going to be really fun too. This one is definitely, I guess, probably geared towards maybe a bit younger of the kids, like the toddlers and kids and stuff. Having said that, you know, we still have all the game tables, the gym and all that. So it's, it's kind of for all ages. And I, I'm actually really excited to get this one well done and, and for you guys to also enjoy it. And of course, if you want to download this as always, the link will be in the description down below if you want to check it out and add it to your game. Um, yeah, so I wanted this building to be, well, I wanted it to look interesting, but I also wanted it to look like the other buildings. So we got the two uh, main buildings here that I've sort of offset. You can see they don't fully line up. Then the one on the side with that sort of half roof coming up, I rotated just so we get the different roof lines and angles and we can play around with different shapes. And it also meant this middle section and I could have like this undercover walkway to go to the separate building, which I kind of thought was a lot of fun. I did play around with a lot of sort of, I guess, roof ideas on this middle section because at first uh, I was trying to do the same roof that I had on the other buildings, but it kind of looked a little silly. So instead I just did this regular sort of roof and I sort of lowered the angle a bit. And then the, here as well, this walkway, I was like, I don't know how I want this to look. Well, I, you know, I knew how I wanted it to look. But how I was going to do it, I wasn't entirely sure. Like I wanted these nice archways here. Uh, so what I did is I just used the archway that I'm using on the lower level, used some move objects to overlap them. Then I actually used a debug fence from uh, like, you know, the ones that are hidden. Just sort of put a fencing in there because you can't, I couldn't also put a fence in there. I mean, actually having said that, I could have if I removed the wall. But this, so this undercover area is technically indoors, which is good. So it means anything there is not going to get covered with like rain or snow and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it is technically indoors, which is good for, yeah, like I said, for a few things. Um, and it also means we get to use this fence, which I think this fence that I'm using here kind of actually matches the rest of the world a little bit better. The, uh, the red fence down the bottom was as close as I could get to match the other ones, unfortunately. Like, there's not much else I could do down the bottom. But in the end, I think it looks pretty good because once I get all the landscaping in, I think it worked out pretty well. Now, of course, we had to do all these buildings in different colors because that is the vibe we got going on. All the other ones around town are actually more colorful than my ones. Um, but I wanted to use this siding because it's a little bit thinner. I didn't really want to use the big thick one. And even still, I don't think we have colors that are as vibrant as the ones that they're using over on the other buildings. So... Um, they also have a lot of really colorful doors and windows. I didn't go that route. I, I just have like the white framed windows and I think it looks fine because once you mix it in with all the landscaping trees and you know all the items we put in here in the end, I think it works out pretty well. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I did spend a lot of time doing the window placement though, which I, I did try to get pretty similar to the other ones. Cause again, I, I want this to look like this was done at the same time as the other buildings. Uh, so I started off with just these doors. There are, I could get the exact same 
windows, I think, that they are using on the other buildings, but I did mix it up a little bit in a few places because I wanted, you know, different windows. Especially later on, once we start furnishing, I put in these huge glass windows that looks like, you know, they've come back and put in uh, new, like, I guess, modern windows in there. So uh, I, I think that worked out really well. It makes the sort of play space look really nice, as you'll see in a little bit. So here I'm just trying to figure out which windows I wanted to use. Again, I, I didn't use the exact windows I have. I used similar ones. But I wanted my windows to match, you know, the, the rest of my building, if that makes sense. But, you know, I think it's all close enough in the end, and that's all that matters. So at this point as well, doing all the windows, I was like, let's get a little bit of landscaping in here, or a little bit of, you know, decoration on the outside, because it is looking a little bland, like we need something out here. Uh, because I, I, it's still at this point as well, I was not really sure what I was actually doing with these buildings. Like, I was building them, I was like, I, I actually... I don't even know if I was sure at this point that it was going to be a community lot. I think I might have been like, oh, we could make it like a house. Although it's it's a bit of a strange house. It would be better as multiple houses. Um, but that's eh, that's not that wasn't the best idea. <laughs> In the end, I think the rec center, it, it looks so cool. I'm so happy. So it was definitely the right choice. Uh, so I'm also just going through here looking for a bunch of debug items, like the hidden uh, extra plants and stuff, because there's some good ones here like these that just sit nicely under those windows, which I was quite happy with. Um, and then we're just getting out, I think, some appropriate trees to sort of match the area, uh, because... I want all the sort of foliage and landscaping to actually, you know, make sense, match in with the world. That's what we're going for. And I've just got a couple of like big pots there for those trees. And now we're just going around finishing the windows, which was actually, like I said, quite a process. So it doesn't look like it. I'm just placing three windows on each level. But if you look closely, they're not really aligned with the grid precisely. Like some of these ones are OK. But when we get around the side of the building, uh, they are sort of like mismatched with the grid. They align differently. Again, it's because I was placing them based off of the other buildings. Like I wanted it to look like the other buildings have similar placement. So they have like a little bit of weird spacing here and there. <laughs> Which again, at first glance doesn't look like it. And actually that's quite good that you can't really tell that. So this side, uh, you might be able to see a bit more. Yeah, they sort of go, they're like on quarter tiles. And uh, had to make sure all the windows are the correct height as well over the different levels uh, and, and match all that up. Now, the windows that, that looks like the world ones are using across the street, they kind of look like the high school years sneak out window. Um, I didn't want to use that, though, because uh, I don't know. I just I didn't. I, I don't like the fact that it's a sneak out window and then it always like turns red when you place it because it it says you can't sneak out. there. it's like, I know it doesn't actually matter. I could have used it, but um, <laughs> I, I didn't. I just used these ones. It was, it was better for some reason. I liked it. OK, I liked it. So we've got a lot of windows uh, in this in these buildings, which I actually end up removing some and changing some depending on what we put inside, because uh, some of them kind of get in the way. <laughs> now we've got these huge sliding uh, like bifold doors to the I guess to the two main halves of the building. Uh, so those are like our main entrances. As you saw, we do have a lot of individual doors around the place. Some of those I remove and place replace with windows. Some of them I keep. Uh, it kind of just depends on what makes sense once we start furnishing, which we're nearly, nearly at the point of furnishing, which is good. Uh, a couple more windows here with <laughs> weird spacing and placement that I was trying to get right. It's just, it's kind of, kind of awkward. Uh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was really like, uh, I can't tell if those are right or not. I think it's close enough. And then I did some windows up in the roof, even though there's nothing there, but it just continues to match the rest of the building. So I think that worked out quite well. Now, at this point, I believe I am trying to work out what the interior is going to be. It's still divided into essentially the three different buildings. Uh, but I quickly kind of change the way that's going to work and I open up the space a lot more. Because as a rec center, we need a bunch of space. So, yeah, so down on the lower level, I'm using, uh, I don't think, yeah, I was going to say, I think I adjusted a bit. Yeah, I use those giant windows, just huge glass windows. So we got a bunch of light coming in. Uh, which I think is super nice. So we're using fun sort of pastel colors. Like this is like the really sort of colorful play space. We have a really nice toddler area. At this point as, as well, you can see I'm trying to keep it a like, bit more divided between the buildings. But yeah, like I said, that changes. So going through, getting the game tables, we're, we're going to kind of work down our list of requirements here. So as you can see, we need the game tables, we need musical instruments, workout equipment. We need a sink, toilet, and shower for like the gym, and then some uh, uh, jungle gym stuff as well for the kids. So unfortunately, we can't fit like a full size jungle gym on this lot, as you might be able to tell. It's a pretty small lot, but we do fit in the toddler slide, which counts as jungle gym, which is cool. 
So yeah, here's where I sort of like, okay, this place is gonna be colorful. You know, each of these chairs is a different color. We're gonna have really colorful stuff all over the place. Under each of these game tables, we're putting in a really colorful rug. At first I was gonna use these ones, but they didn't have like sort of different colored circles, which I guess they're, they're probably concrete as well. So it didn't really make that much sense. Ended up using this one, which is like the sort of, I guess, rubber mat sort of thing by the looks of it. It has like interlocking things, but it's very colorful, lots of fun designs. So I think that made a lot of sense. Now, originally I was gonna have this as like a sort of open library area. So we'd have the game space over there. Then we'd have some books over this side, but it kind of quickly evolved as you'll see once I realized, well, we kind of need to get upstairs. We need stairs somewhere. We need, uh, well, we don't need, but I want to have like a little kitchenette, a, a changing room for toddlers as well. You know, like a family room, that kind of stuff. So it, it changed pretty quick because I needed that stuff to fit in somewhere. And I was like, I kind of need bathrooms. It also felt like I needed a door somewhere to this middle section of the build, which I don't actually know if I, no, I do keep that, but I, sort of the layout changes so much between now and when it's done, because it just wasn't making a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, this room will eventually be like the kitchenette, I guess almost like a little little cafeteria, not really, it only has two dining tables. And then like, um, I think I had a, like a little fridge and we had coffee machine, microwave, that kind of stuff in there. So if you're hungry, you can go in there and get some food. I probably, you know what, I might add a vending machine as well. I, I didn't think of that at the time, but I think that'd be a good addition, uh, the high school years vending machine. Uh, having a lot of fun with the pastel colors and wall patterns like this place I just wanted to be colorful and fun because the outside is super colorful. So like I was like, let's do it inside Meanwhile as I place uh, <laughs> White and black counters, you know Not everything can be colorful. Okay guys <laughs> No, I, I think that's fine like those nice plain counters, but then we have all the colorful walls and stuff So yeah, here we go. We've got the microwave we've got a little fridge there, which is like the spa day fridge, which I think is fine I don't know why I always have a feeling that fridge doesn't have regular food in it. Uh, I'll check that. I think it's okay. <laughs> anyway, so at this point I was like, uh, I kind of don't have any room for this bathroom. Like we, we do have a bathroom there, but if I wanted the changing table, which you'll see me, I think try to put in in a moment, it just, we just don't have room really. Because <laughs> the changing table is a two by one, but then you also need space in front of it to be able to use it. So if we had the toilet and the sink, that's fine. But as soon as we get the changing table, which I wanted to use the wall mount one, which, yeah, no, is up on the wall, but it still has to fold down and they still have to use it. Uh, with that in the room, it just, I don't think we were going to be able to have it work. So I tried. I did try. I <laughs> many different attempts at this point of rotating stuff around. And uh, at this point, I was just like, okay, I'll, I'll leave it because I was kind of getting stuck in it. You know, when you sort of work on something for a long time, nothing's really working. You just kind of need to leave it and come back to it later and then you'll have a better solution. Cause if you just keep trying to work at something that isn't working, you kind of just, you get nowhere and it, you just end up with probably something worse. So we'll come back to that. So at this point I decided those doors, I think, well, actually no, I didn't. No, I think I'm gonna decide right now cause I'm trying to figure out the jungle gym stuff. Um, these doors, I decided let's not worry about those, those individual single doors because they are kind of just blocking you know, it's taking up a bunch of space. If I need to keep those doors accessible, it's just taking up way too much space. So I decided what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a little toddler play pen. What do you call it, a play pen? Yeah, it's a play pen. A little toddler play pen with this sort of child, well, the, the I was gonna say childproof fence, but I guess all fences technically are, but like the little, that new fence, and then we do the little gate so you can lock it for toddlers, or to disallow infants and toddlers, or baby proof it, I should say. So yeah, we have a little play area there, which we do some, AstroTurf, I mean, it's, I guess the grass texture, I just assume it's AstroTurf. I think it looks nice, it's a bit of fun. So we've got a little slide in there and I think, oh, what else did I put in there? Let's see, we put in, oh, I did a little drinks tray, you know, get, a, get some drinks over there as well. Uh, Non-alcoholic, of course, because this is a family center. Oh, we got the infant mat there as well. We got the uh, big uh, dinosaur stuffed animal, the play tent and a toy chest, yeah. So we've got a few things to play around with in there. I guess I could probably add like blocks and stuff as well, maybe, but um, yeah. We'll see how we go with that, see if it's any good. At this point, I was trying to figure out the stairs as well. I was still thinking of having the stairs in the middle. However, I still wanted those big archways, as you see, walking straight through, because then it gives you that really nice view through the center out to the ocean. So the stairs just weren't gonna work there. So I was like, I have to figure out how to put them inside this building without looking ridiculous. Because as you saw, if I put them in there, there were just this huge stair kind of in the way. 
Um, so this is where we start playing around with the layout a lot more, have a couple of separate bathrooms. I'm trying to figure out where the doors to these bathrooms go. I don't even think this is the last thing. I think I'd change it completely. I don't know. I did cut out and stop recording a lot of <laughs> messing around with layouts because it just it was not, it just didn't work. Um, yeah, this that's nowhere near the final product because the whole room changes. <laughs> anyway, so now we're going to put the stairs in this way, which I think makes more sense. So it sort of divides, well, it's sort of, you know, in this front hallway section where you walk in the building, it goes straight up, it divides, you know, the play area from the entrance. And then I'm actually wrapping this bookcase around the stairs. Now, I don't know if they can use the bookcase underneath. Not that it matters. This is mostly just for looks. I also don't know if we can walk up those stairs. I got to test that because sometimes when you play stuff under stairs, it breaks them. Uh, so I didn't actually play test it. So I might have to do that. <laughs> it looks good, though. That's all that matters. Uh, so yeah, that, I like that idea anyway of having that because otherwise the underneath of the stairs looks really empty and such a waste of space. So hopefully that works. Uh, I did already upload it to the gallery, but if it doesn't work, I'll take that one down and put the uh, new version up where it is working, because otherwise that would be really annoying for anyone downloading this. So. Okay, good news. I just loaded up the game and tested. The, the staircase is fine. So we're all, we're all good. I was, I was a little like, Phew. it's funny when I watch back my build videos sometimes, and this is the same when I edit videos as well, because usually when I watch back a build video, it's almost, you know, this is kind of when I'm editing it, because, you know, I cut stuff out and I skip bits and all that. But like, when I watch video this back, I'm like, I missed that thing, or I didn't test that. And I, you know, it's actually kind of interesting when you do it this way. And yeah, it's the same when I edit like a Let's Play video. Um, you guys might see, you might post in the comments, like I think in a recent Let's Play part, I accidentally, when I edited my house, one of the columns accidentally got deleted because, you know, just Sims 4 removes stuff sometimes. And I didn't notice in the Let's Play, but I did notice in the editing. I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's going to be everyone commenting. You know, these things just kind of happen, but I usually catch it in the edit later. Um, sometimes I don't. It depends what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of interesting. Anyway, that's good. That all works. So we have the same situation here with the gym uh, where we've got these two side doors. And I think I actually keep these ones, if I'm not mistaken, uh, because I kind of like those ones because we had stairs going directly to them. It is just a nice side exit. I don't think it'll be super popular because the, the spawning location when you visit this lot is actually at the front, which makes sense. So Sims will always come from that frontal direction, or I guess, oh, okay, it just changed. I was gonna, I'm trying to point toward it, but, oh, uh, okay. But, the, uh, over there, yeah, about up that way. That way, yeah, that. <laughs> That's how they always spawn in, so I don't know that the side doors will ever be used, but I like them. So I wanted to do kind of two bits of each equipment in this gym. Uh, we also needed to fit in like a locker room with some showers, uh, so I was trying to figure out the best layout of this space. I didn't want it to be too big, because I don't know how much we're going to use the gym. I'm only doing the gym because that is a requirement of the rec center. And I guess, yeah, if you need to go to the gym, this could be a good place to go anyway. So I didn't want it to be too small because sometimes if you only do one of each equipment and there's already a sim there, it's kind of annoying. So I think having at least two of each thing should be good. Now, the, yeah, this area here will be like the little bathroom space. So we've got three individual, like, I guess, bath bathrooms, bathroom stalls. They're not really stalls. They're like full on rooms, toilet, shower, sink in each of them, I think is what I did. So it's a pretty, pretty substantial bathroom. You know, we've got lots of toilets. I don't know if we did. Any, I don't think we did any toilets upstairs at all. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to think. I think all our bathrooms are downstairs. Um, yeah. Yeah, but no, there's nothing upstairs, but that's okay. I, upstairs isn't that big. Like there are three levels, but we pretty much only use two levels. So you'll see, I think it looks fantastic to be, to be honest, to toot my own horn. I think it looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm so excited for this place. It looks great. Uh, so I wanted the bathroom to look a little bit interesting. So we did this, that, that sort of blue metal wall there. Got a couple of mirrors on that wall. And then we get the little gym uh, wall decals that came with growing together. So these ones here, I tried to do all three, but it didn't really fit. So just those two is fine. The gym is kind of boring, you know, decoration wise, because I mean, what else can I do in here, to be honest? I just did a couple of benches and we have the workout equipment. That's kind of it. Like the walls are just plain white. Um, it's a little bit boring, but th the rest, the rest, I think, makes up for it, to be honest. Like, I'm pretty stoked. I mean, I don't know if you just caught a glimpse of that room down there. Looks great. Now we're moving upstairs. So first things first, we got to have a big open you know, uh, space so we can, we can look down to the floor below. At this point, you can see we have the two upper levels completely open, and I love this space. This space is so big and so expansive, it feels amazing. 
So I really wanted to keep that feeling. Um, no, not with that sliding door. I use these doors because they look a little bit more commercial. And then over here is like the music room, which again is going to have that double height ceiling. This is almost like, I guess, a performance uh, or like a little, what would you call it? A, um, just like a little, almost like a little, little theater, but not really. You know, it's just a music room. You know, we've got, got a stage here, nice flooring. And then we have uh, in this space, so this is where we put all the musical instruments. I also do the stereo in here. So you have the music. So if Sims want to dance or whatever, they come to this room. And they also do a big dance floor in here too. So it is actually quite a fun little space where you could do some activities. I get these big stage studio lights too. I was like, I guess you could do like community um, uh, performances here, like musical performances or community theater even maybe. It's not a huge room, but then it doesn't really need to be. It's a bit of fun. We got the piano, the guitar, microphone. Uh, and then I add in the, I think I do an electric guitar as well. And I add in like the amp stack from uh, Moschino stuff, I think it is. I was, <laughs> yes, sorry, I was about to do an organ. I was like, uh, I don't know if an organ makes sense here. So yeah, we do get the uh, unlockable uh, electric guitar just because I think that looks pretty nice. I don't know, I don't think there's any electric guitar that isn't an unlockable in the game. They're all acoustic until you... I guess level up and stuff. But anyway, yeah, so I, I like the little guitar amp stack there. And then these windows, I felt like there's a, if this was like a little theater, we should probably at least block these windows right on the stage. So I use these, uh, I think it's, is that movie hangouts? No. Was that movie hangout stuff? No, that'd be a weird pack to come in. What did these come in? I don't know. I can't see the icon right now. It would make sense in movie hangout stuff because it's like movies. But anyway, using these like theater curtains, I did like a red and blue. I was gonna do yellow at the back, but I actually left it black. I, I kind of like the, the vibrant blue and then the red and then just the black. I think it looks nice. We do still have windows all around the other side and all around the top level. So still a bunch of windows, but it's just the stage area that has um, just a little bit of curtaining. And I use those sort of standing speakers, which are actually also uh, stereos. So you could listen to music out of those, but I do put it in a bigger, stereo right on the floor in front of the dance floor so yeah just there because i was like let's just let's just make sure it's easy and the sims can actually use it uh without complaining so that's our little music room that's kind of it moving over here to our big open i guess i don't know it's kind of like a library i would say this is the library area so we do like a little computer room in there and we have like a little extra balcony space there i don't actually no, why did I keep that there? Oh, because underneath there's a door that sort of sticks in. You can see it on the lower level or like the indent. If I couldn't fully remove that walkway there, that's why I kept it. And I just turned it into like a little extra computer space. So there's two computers out in that balcony. Then we have a bunch of computers in that room. And then we have a top level here, which is pretty fun. It's a little arts and crafts corner up the top there. We do, well, not just arts and crafts, but we have painting up there. And I think the chess tables are up the very top. So maybe like the quiet space. Though having said that, Looking at a building this big, fully open, we have a toddler playroom downstairs. That sound is going to carry all the way up. It definitely would not be quiet at the top. But let's pretend that it is, okay? <laughs> let's use our imagination and pretend the top is a nice quiet space. I suppose I could have put the top level in a room as well. But I kind of, I, I liked it being open, you know, to the rest of the level. I think it looked really, really nice. Um, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, we have this space over here, which is like the library space. We do a bunch of bookcases there and a few little reading spots, like little armchairs where you can sit down and read. And I also do the kids activity table as well. Cause again, I wanted this to be a place in my Let's Play I can visit with my Sims and the whole family, not just adults. Cause everything in the Sims is for adults. They can do, they can do everything. We need stuff for the kids, the toddlers and all that kind of stuff. So we have a bunch of activities like downstairs, all the game tables up here with activity tables, computers, plenty of computers computers because you know how sims love to jump on the computers all the time so we, i think we have like eight because there's two out in this little balcony and then six in the room i was trying to figure out a good way to do this it's kind of a little bit awkward to be honest and I, I think i end up using like a counter along here and just put some um computers out just don't push the computer too hard because it will flip off the edge we can pretend the computer it's bolted down it's safe don't worry about it <laughs> it's it's fine i think uh, I don't know if that second one you could get to if someone's sitting on the first one, but I think they should be able to get past. Actually, I don't even know if you can get past the first one normally. Eh, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It, it, most of the computers are in this room anyway. Not really supposed to use the other one, so that's fine. So yeah, we just end up doing six computers in this room, and I think that's kind of it. I don't think there was anything else I'd do in here. I'm just trying to decorate it, make it look a little bit interesting. Oh, I do actually, I think the high school years whiteboard because it just kind of seemed like this was like a study room so having a big whiteboard that you could like write down and do all that stuff on would be cool not that sims can use it at all i don't think unless it's at high school 
but it was a nice decorative item anyway. It seems like it completes the space quite nicely. So yeah, plenty of computers, and we did a very fun carpet. I was like, we, I was like, we can't just have boring wood in here. It's got to be a little bit different. I think that blue textured carpet with the bottom blue of the desks is a lot of fun. Uh, and then, oh yeah, this new item from uh, Growing Together has like, it's like a wheel, a wheel aroundable, like a wheelie. It's a cart kind of thing with um, cork, like cork boards on it that have all drawings taped on it. And I was like, that's perfect for like the kids' activity area. So I think I put it down here. Uh, though, I mean, the room is so small, I don't even know why you'd need a thing on wheels, but it looks nice, so that's what we're using. And yeah, we've got some fun bookcases here, then we mix it in with the activity tables, which I end up doing four activity tables, so I could bring a bunch of my kids just here, not just, like, two. I was originally doing two, but I was like, nah, let's get more. Let's add more so we can really bring a whole bunch of sims here and enjoy this space. And then in this little area, we're going to have like, like a few reading chairs here. I don't know if sims are ever going to sit here and read, but it seemed like the kind of thing you do in the library. <laughs> seemed like the thing you do in a library is read. No, but you know, like having the chairs sort of not facing each other and you know, have a little bit of privacy in the fact that you're not sitting right next to someone and you can see them like that, you're sort of more angled. So I thought that was a nice way to sort of arrange them. I don't know if it is, but that's what I did. Uh, a few little clutter items around the place, and then I was like, we need a fun rug here to really complete the space. Uh, <laughs> like, like you, <laughs> it is quite fun, you'll see in just a second. Uh, it took a while, I was like, maybe this one, but wait for it. Here, no, not that. Here it comes. Yes, this is the rug. <laughs> yes, we do like the big spiral one. Which I don't know, it looks kind of wacky, but I think it, I think it's a fun fun design choice. So here we are in the final product. So now we can actually get a better look of it because in the speed builds it's always hard to see what's going on. But here's my building and those are the buildings around the world which I think, you know, even like looking from this angle it feels like it definitely fits in with all of this which I'm super super happy about. Uh, so I think it fits in the, with the area really really nicely. There's not much going on around the back. We've got a couple of lights and stuff that I did but um, the, your sim's probably not really going to walk out the back ever unless you tell them to so I didn't think that really mattered. Most of the action's going on around the front here. Oh, it did a lot of plants and trees, and I tried to do a similar sort of garden bed here. So like over here, you can see they got like the dirt garden bed. Pretty simple, a few bushes, like got some lavender, those trees, and you know, I did the same sort of thing over here just to give it that cohesive feel with the rest of the build. That's our undercover walkway, which I really like. Just a couple benches in there, some bins. But yeah, so moving down, here is the main space. Oh, I did actually end up adding a column here because it looked a little strange having this big room and this section on top with no support. So we have one column running through the sort of, I guess, middle of the building. But yeah, down the bottom we got the toddler and kid or infant area just here. I mean, I guess kids could also go in there. Uh, we got some books there. We got also the sort of blocks table, three games tables. We also got the void critter battle station there. And then we have like the little uh, cafeteria, which actually has a door here now rather than it used to be over there. So just a couple tables and a little kitchenette. And then we have a room just through here, which is just a regular bathroom. Then over here, this has actually now become our family room. So this has, this is like the changing room. You go in here, you could sit down for a bit if the baby's crying or whatever. Uh, get them happy. There is a TV in here, so I suspect Sims may flock to this room. And we've got the changing table just there on the wall. And another little toilet just attached to that family room as well. And then moving over the other side, we have the gym, which you saw. It's pretty simple. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that speaker because uh, I, I only put that speaker in because I needed it to meet the requirements before I built this. Anyway, <laughs> so that's there. Uh, so this has three bathrooms. Two of them have showers. This one does not, so that's just a regular toilet. And then we have two of each piece of equipment. And then moving upstairs, I really love this upstairs space. Let's go, let's go up two levels. I mean, just having this big open space is so cool using these new uh, big hanging lights as well. I love this room here. Uh, Having it like enclosed there with the computers. I think it's it looks really cool. I'm super stoked about this. And I can't wait to actually visit this in gameplay. So at the top, we've got some easels and the two chess tables are just there and a couple of seats as well. And then down here, we've got the four uh, activity tables, a bunch of books, decorations around the place as well, reading space. And then over the other side is the music room, which again is open to both levels. But we have like a little stage on this side. So you can go over here, do a performance if you like, or just have a dance on the dance floor, which I think would be quite fun. So yeah, that is the uh, Manzanita Rec Center, which is, it's called that because the original lot was like Manzanita, ooh, whoopsies. 
Uh, now it's called SD Rec Center. <laughs> no, it's not. But yeah, the original I think was Manzanita Terrace. So I just rolled with that. But yeah, there you go. That is the build. I hope you enjoyed this. We are going to be visiting this during our Let's Play with the family because there's a bunch of stuff to do. I'm also working on another Rec Center as well, which like I said earlier, I started on a live stream. So if you want to check that out. So far, it's just a live stream. It's like a two hour live stream where I'm just building and planning and working things out with chat. Uh, I'll link that down below. Otherwise, you can just go to the channel page and click the live tab. It will be in there. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.